Greetings everybody, this is Stormy with the capital Z. Welcome to another Warcraft 3 audio commentary. So this time around we're going to be covering up a game on the Echo Isle. It's going to be from Warcraft3arena.net once again and okay nice we're gonna have some we're gonna have some assist over here, some replay assist over over, over observer board. Alright. Sorry I had that little uh recording thing over there. I couldn't actually quite read it read it. Uh it's going to be between a orc and a natal player. Natal player is just known as one two three four five six seven eight nine zero one two I'm I'm not sure if this is a pro pro player's uh, alias or something like that. He will be going up against a Zelling uh Zell Sing, not Zelling, it is Zell Sing. It's going to be Secret Valley and uh yeah as the altars will be building up, let's see how these this uh, game fares. You, the Nitel player going for a AOW creep uh, at the mercenary camp. A very very rather risky camp, especially when you are up against an orc player. Orc player will uh, most likely go for blade master, and Nitel player going for D edge. Nothing too very fancy. Pretty pretty standard as both of the players now sending out their scout workers to do some little scouting and they are not going to bump into each other as they are going from the other, from the uh, basically opposite direction o opposite uh, side of the trees that is uh, near that marketplace so the first archer is going to come in and he is probably going to be using some wisps uh, to repair that AOW as it is a bit uh, tricky to creep that camp out wisps gonna go in and uh, come out but I'm probably gonna plant itself uh, nearby somewhere over here and uh, going to gain some necessary necessary information and all right this board actually even this uh board even uh, covers up the food you're having that is awesome that is great I like it I really like it night player has begun the creeping at uh, this camp and the orc player's peon is pounding pounding it is pounding right over that wisp wisp is under well, not tremendous pressure. It is just under a, a lot of pressure. Even that pickaxe of that. Oh, uh, is he gonna? Oh my! He, he, that peon could peon could steal the kill. I was about to say, but no. DH was uh, uh, DH was uh, fast enough to take that. And here comes the old player's blade, blade master. Blade master going right after the wisp to detonate. And no, it did not detonate. Detonation would have been a better option at it. It. Would had uh, died any other anyway, and uh, would had been able to take off some mana from the orc player. Orc player is surrounding the DH, and uh, just a moment ago we saw uh, the orc player's uh, units and the creeps, both of them, kind of surrounding away uh, the nidal player. And nidal player, right now, uh, forcing the orc player to go back. And uh, where's the archer? This is uh, I'm not exactly sure if this if it is the first archer. I don't think uh, either of the players uh, lost any units except for that s uh, single wisp and uh, he's not gonna back out he's gonna stay there and he's gonna try and deal as much as damage as possible I'm not exactly sure if that is the best uh, option is he does have some massive uh, his, uh, massive as in he does have some really great DPS over there and getting to level 2 probably gonna go for the evasion evasion gonna be helping him uh, miss uh make his enemy miss a few attacks he's going after the blade master blade master is under tremendous pressure he doesn't have any mana and nice little surround there by the grunts and uh, the grunts may just be able to pick the th off dh dh oh my who's gonna, who's gonna win this oh my goodness that was great that was he, he should back out now he should back out right now oh nice nicely done nicely done i like it no <laughs> we saw some uh nice micro gameplay over there at that uh, merchant shop now the DH is going to run back to the base, heal up a bit, and uh, the archer is done. I mean, this is really. Uh, I mean, I don't know what I don't know what kind of what kind of reflex uh, you need to be having while gaming because you were literally fighting your enemy and uh, nearly lost your uh, DH in the process, and in that same process, you were creeping over here. Okay, if I had to consider that whole uh, creeping. Uh, only I I do believe only two of them were left, and uh, he hired these two uh, these two mercenaries. Maybe he hired it uh, with them, or maybe he hired it after them. 
uh, regardless at this point uh, Night of Lair is up ahead and he will be reaching level 3 very very soon with this one uh, item uh, item dropping uh, item dropping uh, item dropping creep my god <laughs> I am not just getting that, that uh, word on my mouth and uh, as per our little observer, observer board uh, we can see the Night of Lair has uh, some massive amount of gold and uh, Moonwell coming into play right in time he, need, he needs more though, I mean that's not enough uh, and uh, Blade Master was just one strike over that building was enough to cancel it. Uh, I do believe it was a Ancient of Wonders I guess, yeah. And uh, Wisps can't actually defend themselves, they can't actually attack, they can detonate but that's just it and uh, Blade Master is already down to like what 30 mana. And oh my, Nidal player going for an attack, that is some serious multitasking. He is uh, defending his base with the DH and simultaneously attacking. It's not like you have, it's not like the Warcraft 3 has a split screen option, but doing this, doing both of these things at the same time is super, super difficult. I can tell you that by experience. And uh, here comes the Blade, uh, Blade Master, Blade Master, uh, TP back to the base. And we have a TC, surprisingly, right? a TC as the second hero choice for the Orc player. Uh, many players like to go for this one, especially because of the TC's uh, AO, uh, AOE damage, AOE damage, slash damage that it can deal uh, to the enemy units, and the endurance aura is also very, very useful at times, increasing your uh, attack speed and movement speed at the same time. It's going to be giving the old player some really good advantage, and uh, the Quill Beast uh, coming into play. They nearly took out the Blade Master. Blade Master, I do believe he had a potion of healing to heal himself, uh, right? Uh, right, exactly when he wanted to. And they are still at it. They are still after the Blade Master. Blade Master is gonna cast uh, a healing salve on himself and gonna run away. Nettle Player is on the tail, and uh, Blade Blade Master is. Oh my, Blade Master, nearly uh, just like barely survived over there. He's gonna go back, he's gonna go right back into the fray, he's gonna go after that Berserker, Berserker is down, now he's gonna try to kill off that uh, Shadow Priest. Shadow Priest is down to red red health bar and there it goes, it is, it has been killed. And uh, oh my, nice, uh, we could have had, uh, seen, a, seen a potential surround. Uh, Beastmaster backing out a bit, uh, Nidal player should back out with the Beastmaster at this point and uh, Leave the DH over there to buy him some time, but it doesn't seem like he's the Beastmaster is gonna survive. You know, it's not going to. Giving the Blade Master level two TC and uh, also giving the TC a, a bit of experience. And Grunt gonna go in, and Grunt is going to get killed by the creeps, giving no experience whatsoever to the DH. And now the DH going to go for some more harassment it seems like here and uh, yeah this was the age the enter of one wonders we see a few of these uh droid of the talons being produced and uh the adapt training coming in for them dh is uh, going to lurk around the around uh, the base of the or player or player gonna creep at this camp uh should probably maybe he should go for solo hero creeping with the tc maybe he would want to even up the levels at this point and uh, gain uh, gain similar amount uh, gain same same type of same same number of level and what is this that is great that is really and you should not you should not leave those yep 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 that that that's what you need to do getting himself the staff of preservation exactly what he needs to do as an idle player and uh, yeah as I said simultaneous uh, simultaneously. Uh, working on two sides of uh, two sides of the map, creeping at one end and harassing and doing other stuff at the other. He did, he got a thinker. Thinker is a pretty solid choice, I guess. At this point, he's gonna be helping him out, uh, take out those uh, orc units. Gonna help him, uh, I guess, get some uh, tank uh, tank some damage with uh, the pocket factory. I'm not sure which ability it went for because we haven't seen it use any yet. Uh, it's still on full mana. He has used any of the abilities yet, uh, but ideal choice would definitely be that uh, Pocket Factory. Pocket Factory uh, can help you out so much uh, with those clockwork goblins uh, coming into play. Or we are going to finish off this uh, goblin merchant camp. Probably 
uh, may pick up an item or two. Okay, he's gonna sell one and run away. No, uh, s no uh, healing scroll being picked up. Healing scroll is uh, definitely a useful item because uh, because of the because of the spirit linking. Basically, your damage gets split upon the spirit linked units. And uh, as an orc player, when your all of your units are below like below fifty percent of the health, you can just pop out that healing uh, that healing scroll and uh, basically heal everything you have so idle player uh, scattering around his wisps a bit getting himself some uh, tactical information of the map and uh, he's going to plant it uh, right behind the orc space right where the orc player can't see it orc player is setting up an expansion we did not see this one coming and uh, Orc player going to do some solo creeping now with the TC. TC will be reaching level 3 but the Blade Master is still sitting at level 2.7. Uh, should be... It should be uh, going for the... Should be going for some solo creeping I guess with Blade uh, Master 2. Uh, Beast Master getting Hawk as uh, the... Is it the second or... Yeah, it's definitely the second ability. First one was Quill Beast. We saw some really nice Quill Beast action. Hawk can reveal the invisible blade master, the wind walking blade master, and uh, that will help out the Nidal player tremendously. So, Orc player now going for some more creeping. I think it should leave the TC behind at this point. Uh, maybe hog off some experience on the blade master to get him to level three. Uh, it doesn't want to get it. Uh, it doesn't want to lag it behind. Uh, this, this is the same same thing. Uh, what the Nidal player is doing here, Nidal player. Uh, got his DH a bit back and uh, let the other two heroes gain the experience. As we can see, the Tinker is a Tinker was the third hero for an idle player, but he is a uh, higher in terms of experience points. Or player getting uh, okay, I guess this is a uh, this is uh, the standard uh, capacity orc army. It's not uh, it's not uh, at 50 food yet. Uh, if I have to talk about idle player, idle player is sitting at uh, 47 food and. Uh, He's already reached uh, tier 3, got the mastery upgrade and uh, he's gonna toss up that orc army or oh, the cyclones are gonna be coming into play. There goes the blade master, there comes one disenchant, shockwave being used and this was oh, this is the pocket factory I was talking about. And uh, the other spell, I'm not sure what the other spell would be there for the tinker, maybe the passive one or maybe the uh, rocket launched. And uh, we can see here a lot of uh, the Druid of the Talons dying. It seems to me like that the Orc player is getting the advantage. We're only just now seeing one of the uh, Raiders go down. And the Orc player brought in the Peons as well. I guess he was uh, I guess he was trying to go for the expansion. And uh, then he just brought them in for the Spirit Linking damage. Uh, and uh, now DH under great great pressure. Oh my, Tinker went down. Orc player managed to focus down the Tinker and now is going after the Beastmaster. Beastmaster is ensnared. Beastmaster is being attacked with uh, everything the Orc player has. And uh, oh my, at this point it seems like the Nidal player, Nidal player uh, did manage to kill a lot of the Orc player's units. Orc player at this point only having 25, uh, uh, an army of 25 food that is. And uh, we know that over around 10 to 15 some of them are just workers, 5 and 5 being heroes and oh my that is pretty pretty bad for the orc player. Pretty bad as uh, he did I guess uh, because I can definitely say that the Nidal player got the better uh, end of that end of that battle. Orc player lost a lot of units, the uh, only thing that the Nidal player actually really lost was that uh, Thinker losing uh, that many druid, it did lose a lot of druid of the talon. I can't uh, deny that, but he did definitely killed off a, a number of a lot more orc units than, than that number. So now the Nidal player going to creep a bit with the beast master. Uh, that's a nice little multitasking. Only now getting scroll uh, scroll of healing. Orc player. Now uh, let's just observe the items a bit. Orc player has circlet, pulls a speed. Stafford teleportation, which we had seen in action earlier, and uh, okay, I, he he gave his he gave his circlet to, he gave his circlet to the TC. I guess he's gonna go to the shop and pick up another, maybe or just some creepier a bit. I guess no, I don't know what's he doing. I guess he's uh, pulling those creeps out, and uh, now gonna go to go for the attack on them. 
He has the boost of speed, uh, gloves of haste, a staff of teleportation, claws of attack plus 6, and the potion of lesser invulnerability. Pretty solid, uh, pretty solid inventory there for the old pair. Can't really, can't really say uh, too much about that. Uh, but uh, old player should, because uh, because he doesn't uh, have that healing wave of the Shadow Hunter. He went for TC uh, for the powerhouse. He doesn't. He sacrificed that uh, very very necessary healing, which is a uh, very very ne crucial for the old player. He should be getting these healing scrolls with the Nile player went for and here comes the Orc army. Orc army is going to... Orc player, Orc player, Orc player's army is gonna try and focus down the Nile player. He's okay. Blade Master just used a staff of teleportation over here and then used the TP to TP back everything he had. Well, I guess he wasn't ready for the end engagement yet. Nile player kinda caught him off position I guess. Uh, Tinker nearly at level 3, Beastmaster already at level 3, Blade, uh, DH at level 4, here comes the Blade Master in uh, wind walking form. He's gonna go, uh, he's just gonna go there, scout a bit and then run off. And uh, okay, something, okay, I, I didn't, okay, 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 I guess I just uh, missed, uh, I just um, had mistaken earlier. The workers on this, this isn't, this is the army and this is the workers, this is something I'd mistaken earlier. Anyways, I guess some of you may have already noticed it and commented in the uh, comment sections below. Stormy, that is not what you're talking about. So anyways, old player wind walking out of the situation and uh, while he was wind walking, he lost the all the gold that he had and uh, oh my. There's some. There's another battle, another engagement going on over here. Uh, Cyclone being used, disenchant, and uh, the those these things are focusing down the uh, raiders. Raiders are going down one by one. We do see a lot of uh, uh, raiders of talons also being taken out. But uh, if the, the old player losing all all of the raiders, I mean, he's not really actually going to be having anything to attack with. Can't actually win the battle with just uh, these spirit walkers forced to TP back. He is losing a lot of things over there and uh, he comes home with a 22 food army while the Nidal player is si still sitting at a 40 food army. Uh, 40, 40, 49 food to be uh, exact. The army is consisting of 40 food only. So... Where do we go from here? Or player, or player doesn't wanna... I guess he just doesn't wanna sit and do nothing he is still going for an engagement and uh Nidal player leaving behind a quill beast uh, just to have that scout information i guess and uh okay i didn't i didn't, I didn't quite catch this one Nidal player built up a built up a expansion old player probably saw that uh, when he was wind walking and uh, using the staff teleportation to come into his army and he's going to tp he did the same thing which he did earlier earlier i'm not exactly sure this was a second time first time okay i could understand second time i don't know why uh, i don't know exactly why did he even go for the engagement when he knew he wasn't ready to face this kind of an army, I guess he was going for a sort of an harassment. But Nidal player was nearby. I mean, what are you doing with the Blade Master? You should definitely run around and uh, your wind walking abilities. I mean, this is the time your wind walking abilities need to come into play. And uh, yeah, this is exactly what I was talking about. Old player does know that Nidal player is uh, high on his tail, and uh, Nidal player going to enter the old player's base. Old player is not going in. I don't know. I don't know exactly what he's doing. Uh, this uh, old player, old player's base is under siege, and the, what the old player wants to do, it seems like he is heading towards the Nidal player's expansion point. I mean, his main may just get taken down. I mean, this is a full capacity army. It is a 60 food army, and uh, you're gonna get beaten. And with that clockwork goblin, I mean, you can do so much. And Nidal player. Using Stafford tele oh no, that's not not Stafford teleportation. That was a TP. He TP'd back to his expansion, and uh, it was too little, too late. 
the orc player did manage to kill his expansion off and I guess I guess the purpose was solved for the orc player at least. He went for the expansion and made the Nidal player TP back to his, his expansion and uh, at the same time killed the expansion. Orc player definitely got the better end of that, that little trade. And uh, he's going for an he's going for an assault once again. He's he he does he just does not want to stay at one place and I guess just uh, heal up a bit. He's not even using healing salves over his units, healing salves or anything basically. And uh, we can see some long distance mining uh, over here. I don't know why are you doing that. I guess I don't know why are you doing that. <laughs> I don't see why you should be doing that. And uh, is this going to turn out to be a base race? Nidal player and Orc player both are attacking uh, their respective bases with everything they have. Uh, they are also trying to set up an expansion where at least the Nidal player is. The Orc player isn't actually bu building a great hall. Orc player losing all of his burrows. This is pretty, pretty bad. Nidal player also uh, losing nearly all of his buildings. I mean, he lost uh, like what, four burrows over there. And those siege damaging. Raiders now going right after the Tree of Eternity. Tree of Eternity may go down. Oh my. I don't know what's going to happen. Nidal player is wrecking apart the old player's base. But the, the, the main building, the, the Tree of Eternity has been taken out. And oh my, a Tree of Life. A Tree of Life being built at the at the old player's expansion. Only now, only now the Nidal player going after the main building of the old player. Trying to focus it down. That's something that he should have been doing earlier. Old player has two peons and he is going towards the Nidal player's expansion. Is it going to turn out like one of those games when where you basically have a base race and then you have a sneaky little expansion at your enemy player and the uh, enemy's... Uh, okay, yeah, that that's a little sneaky little, little expansion at the enemy player's uh, expansion point. Yeah, that, that that's what I see where, where you're coming from. He's gonna leave behind a few stuff. Gonna do some damage, and here comes the DH. DH gonna go right, go right after the uh, Blade Master. Blade Master, under tremendous pressure, Blade Master is down to very low hit points. He can't pop out the TP. He doesn't have a great hall to TP back to. At this point, if the Nidal player dominates uh, this, if he comes up in the battle, which is he, which he is coming, he is. Trying to kill a level 5 Torrin Chieftain and oh my, giving a whole new meaning to the Beastmaster. Killing a freaking level 5 Torrin Chieftain. And the old player hightailing back to his base. He killed everything that the Nidal player had in the main. Nidal player at this point is just sitting at his army of massive, massive uh, Druid of the Talons. And uh, Orc player, well, Orc player could sell off a few stuff and I guess hire a few more units, but Orc player, is, does he have any peons left? Okay, he does have one peon over here. And uh, yeah, that that's literally the only thing that's, uh, that's going to make him survive. And uh, Nidal player now, I don't know what's he planning to do. He is going from the upper side of that... Uh, side of that merchant camp he is going towards the orc players expansion point and this is the tree of tree of life and he's building one more he's building one more at his own expansion point this tree of life is i guess everything keeping the nidal player alive at this point orc player coming right after it here comes the oh my he's going to try to focus it down he should not have uprooted it he should not have uprooted it. he's gonna eat a tree he's gonna try and eat a tree and it went down it went down but the orc player should be surprised like no that had to be the last building and only now old player re realizing that no that is not he is heading towards the night of players expansion point and my god what's what's gonna happen old player is gonna old player is gonna win old player is gonna win he's gonna try and take take out this tree of life if the tree of life goes down he's gonna try and ensnare oh my that is great that's great that's great Oh my, I can't believe it. GG! <laughs> my god, I can't believe it. Orc player actually managed to win that game. That was so surprising. Hope you guys enjoyed that really, really awesome match. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's all. Z out. Bye-bye.